Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to now graph compound inequalities into variables. We call them linear inequalities into variables because they're lines. Okay, now, just like before, even though I have two of them here, I'm going to graph them like I did before. I'm going to turn, I'm going to graph the boundaries of each line first, and then I'm going to shade. But you're going to see an interesting thing happen. Okay. I'm going to change x plus y is less than or equal to 2 to x plus y equals 2, and I'm going to graph this. Just really easy to do. If x equals 0, y equals 2. If y equals 0, x equals 2, and I will graph that line. So 2, 0, and 0, 2. And then, notice this is less than or equal to, so because the equals 2 is in there, I'll uh, graph this as a, uh, a filled-in line. It's not going to be dashed. It's going to be solid. Okay. Now I've got x plus y equals 2 graphed. I'll go back to the real problem, which is x plus y is less than or equal to 2. I'll choose a test point, 0, 0. That will put a 0 in for x and a 0 in for y. So I'll have 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 2. So 0 is less than or equal to 2. And that's true. Of course, it's not equal to, but it's definitely, 0 is definitely less than 2. So 0, 0 gives me a true for the line x plus y equals 2, and so I will shade in that direction. Now, I'll come over to x is greater than or equal to 1. I'll graph the line x equals 1 on the same set of axes. That'll be a vertical line going through x equals 1. So I'll draw a solid vertical line up and down. Then I will use my test point. I'll graph x is greater than or equal to 1. I'll choose the test point 0, 0. I'll be able to use the x coordinate in the x variable. So I'll have 0 is greater than or equal to 1, and that is false. So 0, 0 gives me a false for this line, x equals 1. Well, there's only one thing to do when you get a false. This is 0, 0. It's on this side of x equals 1, and it gave me a false. So every point on the left side of x equals 1 is going to give me a false. So that means I'll shade the other side of x equals 1, and that will give me x is greater than or equal to 1. there. Now, in particular, what we're looking forward to, or what we're looking for, I should say, is because this is an and, we're looking for where the shadings overlap. And look, in this, yeah, in this triangle right here, going down and going over, we have the shading, the two shadings overlapping.
So this is our answer right there, where the two shadings overlap. Okay, we're going to graph one more set of compound inequalities. How about 2x minus y is greater than or equal to 4, and y is strictly less than 2. And I'm going to graph this on the x and the y axes. There's the y axis. And here is the x-axis. Okay. Now, first we're, I'm going to work on the one on the left because in English that's what we do. We go from left to right. So I'll have 2x minus y. I'll find the boundary by taking 2x minus y equals 4 and graphing that line. I'm going to make an x and a y table. And so if x is 0, y is negative 4, and if y is 0, x is 2. And I'm going to graph those two points and then draw a line. So here's 1 and 2. Here's 2, 0. And negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. If x is 0, y is negative 4. And then I am going to draw a solid line because this is greater than or equal to. Whenever you have or equal to, you draw a solid line. And then I'm going to go back to the original inequality. And I'm going to uh, get a test point, 0, 0. Put the x, uh, the x coordinate 0 in for x and the y coordinate 0 in for y. So I'll have 0 is greater than or equal to 4, which is false. So this gives me a false for that line right there. And that means I'm going to graph the other side. So I'll shade like this. Okay, so we have now graphed the inequality 2x minus y is greater than or equal to 4. Now I'm going to graph y is less than 2. Well, first I have to graph y equals 2, and that's a horizontal line through y equals 2, which would be right there. Now, this is going to be a dashed line because it's a strict inequality. All right, then I go back to y is less than 2, and I choose the point 0, 0. So I put a 0 in for y, and I'll get 0 is less than 2, and that's true. So 0, 0 gives me a true for the dashed line. And now I shade in the true direction. Now, notice that from this from this line over, the shading goes this way, and from this line down, the shading goes this way, and they actually cross each other. They overlap in this area 
right here. So that is where, well, that is the area that will give a true answer to both 2x minus y is greater than or equal to 4 and y is strictly less than 2. Okay, so um, how does that feel? We just graphed two linear inequalities, compound linear inequalities in two variables. All right, I will talk to you later. Go congratulate yourself. Bye-bye for now.